Hi, ho guys and gals. Welcome back to Dental Tools. And today we're here to talk about the Cadillac outdoor power equipment. We're talking about Ego and we're talking about their mowers, the walking mowers, whether they're self-propelled or walk behind. Uh, we're going to explain the motors. Now, I've talked about all these things for quite some time, but uh, I didn't realize uh, until really doing a deep dive into it after uh, one of the viewers asked me how confusing their models and their systems are. They're, the numbers and stuff, it's kind of all over the place. It's hard to make sense of where the value is. It doesn't seem to go in a linear kind of way. It's almost like a star trajectory of what's the best one to go with. So we're going to jump through it here. Let's go over to their website and take a look at it. We're going to explain everything that there is about the Ego mowers, okay? Now, they have a lot of stuff in common, all right? They're all 56 volt. They're all running brushless. They're all weather resistant. Some of them are rated as IPX4. My guess is they all are. They just just put weather resistant on some of them. Uh, Three-in-one mulching bag, side discharge, folds easily for compact storage. Check my notes, make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, push button start, single lever deck height adjustment. I have to make sure I get that right. Now, there's different, they have different varying levels of that adjustment, uh, but they, they all have just one handle, grab it and pull it, and that's it. Uh, easy access grass bag, uh, LED headlights, for those of you who like to mow in the dark. Uh, all SP models, that's the self-propelled, uh, have variable speed, so you can dial in your speed. That's interesting. Uh, and they all come with a five-year warranty. Of course, they're all made by Ego, which, of course, parent company, Shervon. I'm a big fan of what they make. They make some of the best battery-powered products out there in the market right now. They might be the leading battery tech out there, actually. But let's jump through on their website. You know, we go through here, and it's like, they're all over the place. There's 13 different models listed. But here's the good news. Uh, not all those models are actually currently available. So let's step through it real quick. And I'll try to fill in some of the notes here on what you might be missing. Now, this is the LM Lawnmower 20, 20 inch, 21. No clue. Maybe you can clue me in on what the 21 means. Uh, it's a 20 inch mower with a steel deck. This is basically, for those of you who want are a little iffy about uh, electric lawnmowers and you still want that, that feel of a traditional lawnmower, with the steel deck and everything as you're moving over, this is definitely probably where you want to start. Now, this thing, uh, it, it's, uh, it is uh, currently being made. It has a runtime. It's, it says it has a runtime of about, let me move this over here. I think it's 55 minutes on the standard battery that comes with it. Now, that battery is a 5 amp hour. And now the weight of this thing, having the steel deck, it's going to make it weigh a little bit more, but not a ton more than some of the other ones because the batteries are really where the weight is in these things. So you're looking at 53.3 pounds on it. Uh, it. Now, I do have cutting torque specs for most of these. That's how, how much power it's getting out. The first three, they didn't give me the specs on it for. Uh, now, they have some features that they've trademarked, like Select Cut. Select Cut is a system where you can change... Uh, the amount of blades, they usually come with three blades and you can change it for mulching or high. This one does not have that. This is just a single blade kind of system. It's not self-repelled. It doesn't have the touch drive. It doesn't have the speed IQ. These are all systems we'll talk about coming up. Again, it says 20 inch steel deck. It has six levels of adjustment. That's the minimum that I've seen. They go they're either six, seven, or eight. It comes with a the base charger, which will charge, I think it'll charge uh, a, uh, a the, the battery in like an hour or two. So we'll talk about the chargers here at the end. I could be wrong about that one. And the price on this is $500, which is honestly a bit pricey. I think it's the steel deck in this one that's really bringing that price up. Now let's go, uh, the best place to buy this one, and then I have also where you can buy them, is on Amazon. Amazon's going to have this price at $500. That's just the standard list price. Let me check my notes, see if it ever gets much cheaper than that. It does look like it drops on sale for about 100 bucks off every so often. And when it does, it's only for a few days. Uh, honestly, this is not, probably not my highest recommended uh, mower here that they have. But let's see what else we can find. Next, we've got the, was it the LM2000S. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one. Why? Because it's discontinued. This is one of the ones, you know, that... On the, it's on the main page, it's discontinued. And we're gonna talk some more about discontinued and off serial number ones here later. Uh, be, you know, maybe we should talk about now, th there's a lot that you're gonna find that aren't on the website. You look, go around, you go to Amazon, other stores, and usually not the main stores, not like Lowe's and uh, uh, where else is it? Granger and uh, uh, it was Acme and stuff. Uh, 
and, and Ace. You're not going to see the the off brand or the off uh, the weird numbered ones there. Usually, uh, you will see them on Amazon, but not the other stores. The only thing I can tell, I can't tell if they're older models or if they're supposed to be like uh, vendor specific models or something. Anyway, the, most of the ones I found are not being sold by uh, by register, at least not recommended by the, the website. So I don't know if they're authorized resellers. So we're going to stick with the ones we know are coming from an authorized reseller here. Okay. So the next one up, and this one uh, typically would go for, I don't even have a price on this one. So we're going to ignore that one. Next one is the LM2022 SP. Okay. A lot more 20 inch. 22 and SP is self-propelled. All right. Now this one is the current. It says it is current. It's on the website. They don't say it's discontinued, but when you go to try and buy it anywhere, it's, it's out of stock. Uh, you can't find it. Um, so we're not going to go deep into, into this one either. Now, next up, we're getting into, we're seeing here, this is getting more into the, the current ones. We've got the LM2142 SP again, we're looking at a self-propelled one. It has a runtime of about, what are we looking at? 80. This is Now, this one's got interesting. If you see, it's got this, it says peak power trademark up there. And this is the only one on this list that's listed as having peak power. And what peak power on this means is it's a dual battery system. It, it's the only one that does it. And I think that maybe this was a early try at trying to extend the runtime before they came out with the higher capacity batteries. Uh, this one ships with two five amp hour batteries. That brings the weight on this sucker up to 62.6 pounds, which is I think tied for the heaviest one out there. Now the cutting torque though, it's also tied for the best cutting torque at 8.3 foot pounds. This one's got a lot of torque here. This is gonna give you the equivalent of some of your best gas mowers out there. Now uh, it does not have the select cut though. It does. It is self-propelled. It does not have touch drive. Uh, it does not have the speed IQ. Uh, the deck size on it, though, you know, you saw there, the 2142. That means it's a 21 inch. Uh, as far as the amount of levels that you can do on it, it's a six level adjustment. It comes with the rapid charger rather than just the base charger, which is nice because you're going to have two batteries you're going to have to be charging with this. All right. And as far as price on this, price point, I think normally is 800 bucks. Currently on Amazon, we're seeing it at 699 it's on sale right now on Amazon. I'll put links to everything down below. Next up, we've got the LM2101. All right, now this one is, it, it's not self-propelled. It has a runtime of only 45 minutes. So this is gonna be for a smaller yard, okay? It comes with a five amp hour battery and the weight on it is 55 pounds and 55.3 pounds, which is kind of the mid, light, light to, it's on the lower end of the middle weight spectrum of these. Uh, the cutting torque is 5.3, which is one of the lowest, all right? This is going to be a light-duty mower. This is not going to be something that you're going to be doing large yards with. It's not something that you're going to want to do, uh, you know, really rough kind of stuff, any thick, wet grass kind of thing. Again, light-duty, small yards kind of stuff. Uh, it doesn't have any of the whiz-bang features. You see there's no none of the trademark buzzwords on it. Uh, it's, uh, it, it just is what it is. 21 inch deck, which, and the difference, the only two deck sizes they have are 20 and 21. One inch is not going to make a significant difference, uh, for most yards kind of stuff. Uh, it, six adjustable levels. It comes with a rapid charger and it typically sells for 450. Uh, and the current price, uh, well, Lowe's has it on sale, but they're sold out. You might be able to find it in some stores at 350, which for a light duty, I mean, if you can find this at 350 and you've got a smaller yard, that would be a sweet deal. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, on Amazon, it's at 429. All right, next up is we're stepping up here is we're looking at the LM2102. By the way, did I mention that I've got a spreadsheet and I'm going to link down below so you can do all the whole little data manipulation you want with it. I love adding these spreadsheets. And if you, do you like it when I add the spreadsheets? Do you guys use them? If you do, if you want me to add more spreadsheets and stuff like that, put it down in the comments and I'll try to add more of them as we go along. I use, I do it quite often, but maybe I need to do it more often. Um, anyway, we've got 2125 SP, 21 inch. Everything from now on is going to be 21 inch. It is self-propelled. Uh, now this one is, let me see here. There we go. It is 60 minute runtime with a 7.5 battery coming in with weight of 62 pounds. One, again, tied for the heaviest one so far. 
5.9 cutting torque, which is nice, but it's still on the low end of the spectrum, to be honest. It is self-propelled, but doesn't have any other cool features. Um, six levels of adjustment does come with a rapid charger, and list price is $600, but 500 bucks is what you can get it for. But I don't know, if I, I couldn't really say that I would recommend this one. Um, I think there's better options out there for the price. Now we got the LM2114. Again, this is going to be a basic mower here. Uh, it's, let me see here, it's 55 minutes of runtime. It only comes with a six amp hour battery. 45, it is one of the lightest. It might be the light, it is. I take it back. It is the lightest one so far because uh, it, it, it has nothing on it. <laughs> It, for, it, it does have six pounds of cutting torque, which is getting up into the mid-range uh, of them. They, they go between 5.3 and 8.3. Most of them are in the six to seven range. So this is at the lower end of, I guess, medium. This is actually kind of the medium one. Um, it, but no no self-cut, no self-propelled, uh, no touch drive, no, no bells and whistles. It does have seven levels of adjustment. And it does come with the 320 watt charger. There's basically the, the, the base charger, the rapid charger, the 320, the 700, and then there's a dual charger. The dual charger doesn't come with any of them. You think it would come with the, the dual battery system, but it doesn't. You can buy it separately. We're gonna cover the battery, uh, the battery chargers at the end. Uh, as far as price on this one, it's listed at 450. And I think it sells probably right $400. Four hundred dollars, um, and uh, yeah, so it, it's an all right one. Now let's step up to the LM twenty one fourteen SP. This one is getting some more bells and whistles on it. Uh, the uh, it's the so it's got dual toggle speed control. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look over, let me come down here and let's show you on the the handlebars here or the handlebars where the the uh, there we go. Oh, up, that, that's the wrong one. The, oh, it's down here. They show you right here the dual toggle on it. So it's got, besides when you start it, it's got controls on either side. So you can start it moving with one hand from either side, which I don't know. I think it was something they're trying. I don't think it's the only one model that has that. I don't think it became a, a big feature for it. You know, when I was talking about the, they all fold, look how compact they get. It's one of the things I love about battery mowers is you can fold them down and get them out of the way. You can hang them on the wall. You can you don't have to keep them in the same position because there's no fluids in them, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, anyway, this thing's uh, as I said, it's seven seven levels of control on it, but again, none of the other bells and whistles. As far as price point on this, uh, its list is uh, is at uh, uh, at five fifty, and it's coming in around five hundred on sale, five hundred on sale. All right, so. Uh, most of these items you can find on sale at one of the locations. They have on on the Ego site there, you can click on it, it says where to buy. But honestly, and it does show you the prices, but uh, a lot of times those prices aren't updated. So we're look, looking now at this one. This is the uh, 2125 SP. And uh, let me jump up to this. It, this one, you're looking at 60 minutes of runtime on this. And it's coming with a 7.5 amp hour battery. So you're getting a bigger battery. You're getting more runtime. The weight on it is 51.1, which there's, that's one of the lighter ones. It's not the super heavy one. It's not the super light, but it's not all that heavy. I mean, it's, it's, I was the second or third lightest one on the list. Cutting torque is six, not the highest, but not the lowest. Uh, it does not have the dual blade system. It does have, it is self-propelled and it does have touch drive. Now touch drive has, let me come down here. Touch drive has this little uh, palm sensor on there. And when you put your hand on it, it senses it and it senses the pressure. And so it adjusts that. And then you have a little speed controller down there so you can set the speed on it. Uh, does not have the speed IQ. It is a 21 inch. It does not steal. Um, seven, it does have seven levels of adjustment and it comes with the rapid charger. Now the rapid charger is a step down from the 320. Uh, this is normally at 650. This is a pretty good mower. This is one of the better mowers. Again, though, I would say this is for like your, at 60 minutes, this is for your average size yard. All right. Uh, as far as, uh, the, the going price at 650's list, you're looking at 550. Uh, and 550 on that. Not, not bad pricing. This may be one of the, I think probably one of the ones I would recommend for most like smaller, 
smaller to mid-sized yards, basic, just everyday kind of use. Now, uh, if you want to get really fancy, this next one, this is the, the cream of the crop, which is, if you look at the model numbers, it makes no sense. It's, the model numbers right in the middle. This is the LM2167SP. Now, I guess it is the highest level. The, the, the 67 there is the highest number. So maybe the model numbers are, kind of go based on that. But this one has, uh, I think, most of, if not all, the bells and whistles. It doesn't have the touch drive. All right, but let's let's start at the at the uh, at the basic info. So, 90 minutes of runtime on this. Now, it comes with a 12 amp hour battery. That's a big battery. All right, uh, it has uh, uh, weighs 63 pounds, which is pretty hefty. It's the heaviest one so far. Uh, cutting torque, in fact, I think it's the heaviest one. Period. Cutting torque on it is 8.3. That's the highest. It doesn't get torquier than that. This is the one that's going to cut it all. It does have the select cut. It means it's going to come with the three blades. And that's really cool because you, you only run two blades at a time. But uh, you can change how those blades are, are, are stacked to and which blades you're using so as to change the kind of cut you get, whether it's a mulching cut or a raising cut. So uh, it really allows for that flexibility. It does not have the touch drive system. It just has the standard bar and, and you go. But it does have speed IQ. Uh, not only that, it uh, it's uh, it has eight levels of deck adjustment, and it has a digital display. I kid you not. Let me scroll down here and show you. So the display on this thing, look at that. They, they I don't know if I need a digital display on my walk behind mower. It's kind of cool to look at, but I guess if you're adding in all the other features and you're bringing that price up to get it to be, as I said, the full Cadillac of walk behind mowers. You might as well go digital. Cadillac did it, so I guess they can do it too. Uh, anyway, as far as the price though, list price on this is a thousand dollars, and yeah, <laughs> that's it right now. Ace is the only one who has it uh, currently, and it's a thousand dollars at Ace. Uh, I hard to recommend that one at that price, but I mean, if you want all the bells and whistles, you really want to treat yourself. That's the way to go. All right, next up, we've got the select cut. Uh, 2133. Okay. So it's this one, let I me mean, talk about a change of pace. This is not self-propelled. It only has 45 minutes of walk time. Comes with a five amp hour battery, 56 pounds. It's kind of lightweight, seven pounds of, of, of cutting torque, which is good. I think this is kind of like their newer budget version. Um, it does have the select cut. So you're getting the multiple blades with this. Uh, you are, it does, it's not self-propelled. It does not have touch drive. It does not have speed IQ because it does not have touch drive. It's not going to have speed IQ. Uh, and uh, it's got seven levels of adjustment. Comes with a rapid charger. Base price is $750. So what you're seeing here is they're basically doing different, like they've got like the steel deck one and they have different levels of that. And then they've got the high battery power ones and they get different levels of that. And they've got the high torque ones. They have different levels of that. So it, it's kind of confusing, but what you can see is they're basically creating different uh, different base models, if you will, then with adding different features to those. So this one coming in at a base model or base price of six hundred dollars, uh, and I think we're going to get a yeah, the it's going to drop about a hundred bucks. That's kind of typical what we're seeing on on most of these is you're coming in about a hundred dollars under that. Uh, now it's currently out of stock for online orders. I guess you can go in store. Does Acme have a store? Uh, anyway, uh, let's keep going here. We got the LM21, uh, was it the 2135 SP? So the 2135 SP here, the, uh, this one is, uh, 60 minutes of runtime, 7.5 amp hour battery. So a decent sized battery. Uh, it's coming at 56 pounds. That's pretty hefty. Not the heftiest though. So kind of middle of the, of the weight, seven pounds of torque. Uh, it does have select cut, does have self-propelled, does have touch drive, does not have the speed IQ. Uh, the, it does have seven levels of, of, of deck adjustment. It comes with the rapid charger and lists out at 750. Now, it, besides the touch drive, it doesn't have a lot of other features with it. Uh, it's, it's a good solid, it has, it's a good solid mower. It has good solid range, 60 minutes. This is going to get your bigger size yards. It's going to have a little bit more features to it. Now, as far as the price, base price on this is $750. It's coming in at $600. Not bad price there, $600 on that one. 
Uh, $600 at Acme as well. Uh, I'm trying to show the two of those uh, because if you want to buy it in a local store, walk in. If you want to get it shipped, Acme does free shipping on that. Uh, there was another one here. I probably should have called it. We'll go back and we'll talk about it. Uh, the LM2156SP. Now, this is, this is, you would think it was the top of the line because when you go through on the page, the list, everything, this is, this is it. Uh, and maybe it's the current top of the line barring the one with the digital display because it has 75 minutes of runtime. It comes with a 10 amp hour battery. That is the second largest battery uh, if you don't count the two 5 amp hour batteries. Um, it's uh, it, the, uh, the weight on it is 54 pounds, which is actually lighter than the previous model. Uh, it has 8.3 pounds of cutting torque. That is... That's the, the the max. That's the highest. Doesn't get higher than that with this line. Uh, it does have select cut, self propelled, touch drive. Does not have the speed IQ. Honestly, only the only one that has the speed IQ is the LM twenty one sixty seven. So I probably just should, should listen to that as a special feature. Um, it, the it does have seven levels of adjustment and it comes with the seven hundred watt charger. If I didn't mention before the digital one, that's a thousand. It comes with a seven hundred watt charger. That's the the fastest charger that comes with any of their mowers. Uh, in fact, I think it's the fastest charger they make. List price on this is $850. Now, if you were to want to go out and actually buy one, price on it, $700. But if you look at this, if you're looking to buy a top of the line Honda or any of the other gas mowers, you're going to be in that price range, if not higher. Um, this is going to be for a larger yard. It's 75 minutes uh, of, uh, I mean, honestly, how, how much time does it take? I mean, that's what you have to look at. Look at the runtime. Buy the mower whose batteries fit your yard. If you've got a gas mower, not including time to stop and refill the tank, because you, you don't have to do that. If it takes you, you know, if it takes you an hour to mow your yard, then buy a mower that comes at 60 minutes or 75 minutes or 80, you know, to give you a little bit of leeway. Honestly, I find that cutting with it with with uh, electric cuts faster usually. Uh, the mowers are lighter, they move more, they're more nimble. Um, you, you just, and you don't have to, you know, stop for gas and you know, all the other kind of stuff. So anyway, this one coming in at $700 is right on par with the other top of line kind of mowers out there. Now, I think one of the ones I wanted to talk about was the, where did it go? Um, there was one where it comes with, there we go. Okay, this more right here, and I kind of glossed over this before, and I wanted to go back to it. If you're looking at the 210, uh, it was the 2102 SP, the, the two buying options is you can get the the, the full kit there for $500. For $500. And, but, and that comes with a 7.5 uh, amp hour battery. Amazon, same price, comes with two four amp hour batteries. So you're getting a little bit extra and you're getting two batteries. Now, honestly, are you gonna get that much more use out of it? No, because the way the power curve works on a battery, you might actually get a little bit less. But that said, you now have two batteries. So if there's a lot of other Ego equipment, maybe there's a string trimmer or a blower or a hedger or something that can't use, you know, uh, one of the 7.5 amp battery batteries. Maybe it's one of the older ones or smaller ones, something like that. This gives you more use for that battery in other instances. So just something to consider there. Now, speaking of batteries, we talked about the chargers. So let's let's talk chargers, okay? So the base charger, and the, almost none of these, only, the only one right now that's currently out that comes with this is the LM2021. And this is gonna come with a base charger, 56 volt charger. Uh, they sell the list price. I'm not gonna talk about list price on these because it's so ridiculous. Uh, Amazon is the only place to buy one of these chargers. I mean, you can buy them other places, but in fact, all the chargers here, nobody touches Amazon when it comes to the price on chargers. It's ridiculous. This one is 39, basically 40 bucks. List price on it is 70. Everyone else is closer to 70. So I'm only gonna have links to Amazon in this one, but that's if you just want the basic charger. If you want the 320 charger, now, let me go back and tell you the difference so you can really understand what's going on. So this one will charge a, a 2.5 amp battery in 50 minutes or the 12 amp in 230, okay? So keep those two numbers in mind and that's kind of the spectrum there. Uh, the 320 here, it will charge a 2.5 in 35 minutes or the 12 amp in 160 minutes. So this is a slight step up here. 
And this one's going for $50, $49. Um, now this is the rapid charger we see on some of them. And I like it. It's a nice, good, solid base. Uh, I like the form factor on it, but as far as charging speed on it, it's not a ton more than the 320. You're looking at, um, it, was it the 2.5 in 30 minutes? I think it's 35 on the 320. Uh, and the 12 amp hour is, uh, where we go, 90 minutes on that. Now, the next one up, oh, there, and there, there's the price. Not as big a sale on this one, $98 on that. The 70 watt turbo charger. This is, as I said, this is their big top of the line charger here. This thing, uh, and honestly, I was surprised how it's not that much faster. Uh, you're looking at the uh, the 2.5 in 30 minutes, which isn't that what like most of them do there. And then the but the 12 amp will do. It'll do the 12 amp uh, battery in uh, was it uh, 75 minutes. So it's really more the smaller batteries get there about the same amount of time. It's the bigger batteries where you see the really big benefits getting in those rapid chargers. Now, as far as the, the price on that one, we're coming at $172. It's not cheap. Now the dual charger. Now this is pretty much on par. It's, it's slightly better. I guess maybe kind of halfway between the 320 and the rapid charger. It's closer to the 320 uh, and it will do simultaneous. So you put two batteries on, it will charge simultaneously uh, and it will do... Uh, for the 2.5 in 40 minutes and it'll do the 12 amp hour in 180 minutes. So it's the real benefit here is that it charges two of them simultaneously. Why they don't give this one with the, uh, was it the, uh, the dual battery system? I don't know the price uh, or the price $151. Uh, so anyway, there you go. That's pretty much everything that you could possibly need to know about the ego mowers. Again, uh, if you have any questions, put it down in the comments. Uh, I, as I said, Ego Motors probably the best uh, you know residential mower out there. They've, they're coming out with a commercial line. I haven't had a chance to really take much of a look, look at it or use it or anything, but I've gotten a chance to play around with a lot of the Ego products, uh, a lot of the Ego batteries and stuff like that, and uh, I think they're just fantastic. Uh, I hope this explains some of the confusion because it it is really confusing. Don't forget there, there's links to the products down below and there's also a link to the spreadsheet down below so you can really take a look at it, do your own deep dive and figure out what works best for you. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.